Hi readers, Chris here. Today I'm going to be opening up my September Spearcraft book box. That's right, I said September because this box was seriously late. Um, anyone familiar with Spearcraft knows they've been having a lot of issues recently. If you'll remember, the last book box I got from them also came in a plain brown box and it had a damaged item in it. So I did open this one to take a peek just to make sure there wasn't anything else damaged in this one before I left the ferrets play for it. But they've gone off of social media. Um, they did post an announcement on their website that they were going to be discontinuing their fun character boxes until the prices come down. My counter to that would be Owl Crate uses plain brown boxes, but they do have like their logo on them. So I think something could be done other than just literally a plain brown box. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I've talked to a couple people about this on Instagram already, and I know some people have canceled their subscription. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I know they've had issues with their shipping and it's the books in particular that I guess that are causing the delay. Normally they ship at the end of the month. So the September box should have shipped out within the first week of October. It did not because there was a huge delay getting the actual books. I think, I know they've stopped all renewals until they can get caught up on their shipping. Again, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt at least through the end of the year and then I'll decide at that point depending on how things are if I want to continue with this service or not. So that is the state of Spearcraft. I'm gonna go see if I can find Jack Jack or Meepers or even Snowball and see if one of them wants to help me unbox this box. Be right back. <clears throat> So like I shared, I already opened this box because I wanted to make sure that nothing was damaged in it like last time because I know Jack-Jack is always interested in a box. All right, Jack, check it out. What's in there? What's in there? Right on top, we have our spoiler card, Small Towns, Big Mysteries. That is the theme of this month's, or I should say that month. It's not even this month. This was, what, September? <laughs> September's a book box, uh, book box theme. That's what I was trying to say. Brain fart for a minute there. I know, Jack. Hold on. You're searching everywhere for the treats. Here you go. Here you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. Come back and see me later. Let's see. So I'm going to pop open this box first. And in here we have, looks like, a coffee mug. Or a mug. Any type of mug. Plain white mug. And it says on it, I belong in Mystic Falls. I belong in Mystic Falls. I know that sounds familiar to me. Mystic Falls. Is that... Uh, oh God, what's the name of the show? There's the girl and the two vampires. Jack, Jack, what's the name of that show? It's something about vampires. Vampire Diaries, right? Vampire Diaries? I'm gonna, yep, Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries mug. Mystic Falls, Virginia. I was right. What do you think about that, Jack? Look, it's a box within a box. Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> a box within a box. I'll put that over there. And then next I see we have some sort of, it looks like a bag, a knapsack. It's kind of a beigey color. And ah, so this is a Stranger Things sack. I see it says the upside down. On top we've got the kids on their bikes. Um, it's just like a silhouette, so just the black silhouette. I think that's probably Dustin, because that one looks like he's wearing a hat. Uh, maybe it's one of the other ones, Will. And then I'm assuming that one is Mike with 11 behind him. That means they're missing one of the kids, because I think there's the four friends, right? And then on the upside down, I assume this is a Demigorgon. It looks like he's got the, the flower petal head there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. What do you think, Jack? Does this look like a, a bag you might like? 
I always like to put Jack in a bag to see what he thinks. So let's put you in this bag and see what you think. What do you think about this bag? Hmm, Jack, do you like this bag? Do you like this bag? No? Don't like this one? He doesn't seem too impressed, but he doesn't seem too upset. He's just kind of sitting there. Jack, do you like this bag? Are you trying to bite me? Are you trying to bite me? <laughs> Are you playing? Is it time to play? Yeah, is it time to play? Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough. Well, how am I supposed to keep unboxing the box if you're in it, Jack? There we go. Okay. So we're going to move our Jack in a bag to the side, or Stranger Things to the side, and keep going. So next I see a pen. Uh... What is this? Oh, it would help if it was right side up. So this says 100% pure true blood. So obviously this is from the True Blood TV show, which is based on the Sookie Stackhouse books by Charlene Harris. Love that series. I love the show too, even though the show is totally different from the books, but that's okay. So if you're a fan of True Blood, I think that's pretty cool. I always get so many pins, I really don't know what I'm going to do with all of these pins. <clears throat> I've put a couple on, like, my luggage over the past few months, but I, I still have way too many. <laughs> so, putting that to the side, next up, I see another card here. And this one says, Spellman Mortuary, Funerals, Burials, and Rites. That's from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Let Greendale cast a spell on you. Okay, I guess it's supposed to be like a postcard. I mean, it's just a plain card. The front is just black and the Spellbed Mortuary, it looks like a sign almost, the way it's spelt out and stuff. But, oh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with this or what its purpose is, but moving on. Next up, I see a, ooh, this is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, bookmark. If the, apocalypse com if the apocalypse comes, beep me. Wow, how, like, early 90s is that? Beep me. <laughs> if the apocalypse comes, beep me. And then we have a classic picture of Buffy on here with the stake in one hand, and it looks like some sort of device in her other hand. The photo's cut off, but... I assume that's supposed to be a beeper. That's actually kind of hilarious, so I actually really like that because it makes me laugh. <laughs> Next up, Jack, did you knock over the treats? Are you eating all of them while I'm filming here? Is that why you're being so quiet? You little devil. All right. Next up, it looks like we have some sort of loose tea, as I'm assuming what this is, because they do a lot of this. And this one says, straight out of Radley. And then it has a big A minus on it. Straight out of Radley. And it's done like the straight out of Compton um, logo, right? So it's like plain white with the black square and et cetera, et cetera. I don't know why it's got an A minus on it. Straight out of Radley. What's Radley? I don't recognize what Radley is, but this A reminds me of Pretty Little Liars. Like, A, right? Wasn't that a thing? Is that what this is supposed to be? Let me see. Rosewood, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Pretty Little Liars, straight out of Radley tea. It's pumpkin spice flavored, of course. Appropriate. Oh, look at me. Another one I got right. I am a total nerd. <laughs> Moving this to the side. Jack, stop trying to get into the treats. You stay over there like a good boy. <laughs> stop trying to get into everything. Okay, we're putting the treats out of the way so that you can't get them anymore. All right, what else is in here, Jack? Can you tell me? It looks like we've got a card. I'm assuming that's a note from the author. Um, it looks like the author plate, so the signature, signature sticker there, and then our, whoops, always hitting the camera. <laughs> Jack, can you please get off of that? Thank you. <laughs> Not helpful. The book this month is by Kendare, Kendare, Kendare Blake, and it's called All These Bodies. Jack, now I'm going to have to readjust this. 
There we go. All these bodies. I know. It's very exciting. <clears throat> so, Kendare Blake. I have no idea how you pronounce that with the E. All these bodies. So much fear over one little girl. So, we have a little uh, girl on the front cover. It looks like she's facing one way and just kind of looking back over her shoulder. So, let's see what this one says. Sixteen bloodless bodies, two teenagers, one impossible explanation. Summer 1958. A string of murders plagues the Midwest. The victims are found in their cars and in their homes, even in their beds, their bodies drained with no blood anywhere. September 19th. The Carlson family is slaughtered in their Minnesota farmhouse, and the case gets its first lead. Fifteen-year-old Marie Catherine Hale is found at the scene. She is covered in blood from head to toe, and at first she's mistaken for a survivor, but not a drop of the blood is hers. <clears throat> Michael Jensen, son of the local sheriff, yearns to become a journalist and escape his small town. He never imagined that the biggest story in the country would fall into his lap or that he would be pulled into the investigation. When Marie decides that he is the only one she will confess to. As Marie recounts her version of the story, it falls on Michael to find the truth. What really happened the night that the Carlsons were killed, and how did one girl wind up in the middle of all these bodies? Oh, so obviously some sort of a murder mystery. That sounds pretty cool. I'm just going to scan the note from the author, see if it says anything interesting. Happy reading about murder season. <laughs> Do you like true crime? Do you like vampires? You do? Excellent. Allow me to introduce you to my new novel, True Crime with a Vampire, a.k.a. All These Bodies. Okay, so it does have a supernatural element. It was inspired in part by three true things. The Cutter murders in Holcomb, Kansas, and Truman Capote's subsequent study of them. I have no idea if I'm reading that correctly. This is a little hard to read here. The 11 victim killing spree of Charlie Starkweather and Carol Ann Fugate. The vampire hysteria of New England. Sound good? I hope so. So curl up with a hot cup of something and come with me to a small Midwestern town in the 1950s when something bad is about to happen. And I have to say this, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right, so now that I've gotten my corny stuff over with, that is everything for this month's uh, Spearcraft book box. Like I said, I hope that things turn around for Spearcraft. They've been a little weird lately. I know some people have left them. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, and we'll see what happens with... Uh, next month's book box but let me know if you like this video let me know what your favorite item in this collection was and as always jack jack and i wish you happy reading come on jack 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 it's over here jack jack it's over here Jack, it's not in this hand. It's over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't have anything in that hand. <laughs>